I got a friend named Zach Esposito, and he used to do that. We would get done with practice, and every technique had to be perfect. Even getting undressed and then back dressed was. This dude would sometimes get undressed three times. What? He would get dressed. He maybe he put something on in the wrong order. I don't know what he would do. But then he would take it off. He would do it again. He would take it off. And then he, if he was drilling, every move. It's like I don't know what that 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 disease is called. Obsessive compulsive disorder. That that right. Yeah. It was with everything though, and he became an NCAA champion. Doesn't that make sense though that like those kind of things, if you could channel them into something positive. Mm -hmm. Like if you're a maniac, yeah, and you could like say if you're like a compulsive gambler, you can't stop gambling. Yeah, you just gotta get out there and place bets. <laughs> you gotta place. There's like there's guys like that. If they could channel that same energy, yeah. into something else, like could you imagine? Could you imagine like yeah. an athlete? Yeah, that's like that. Yeah, Michael Jordan. I'm sure he's for like as that. compulsive of a gambler as he is. That was his approach to basketball. Yes. So nobody could be greater. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Exact same thing. It's just one of them is dangerous. One of them is one dangerous. One of them will fuck up your life, and one of them will make you the GOAT. Will make you the GOAT, but the other side of it is it don't turn off. And that's right. the fucked up part. That's the fucked up part. It doesn't the turn off. Having that, that as a thing and then the competitiveness never turns off. Right. It drives you crazy. Well, that's why Tyson didn't work out for years. Yep. You know, Mike did my podcast twice, and the first time he did it, Mike was, like, heavier. He was smoking weed all the time. He yeah. was so chill. It's like, wow. It's like Mike Tyson's, like, such a sweet guy. And then Mike Tyson signed up for the Roy Jones fight, and yep. the next time he came in, he was 225. Yeah, yeah. Forearms were <laughs> jacked, and he was intense. Yeah. And I made a decision to make the table wider mm -hmm. on my podcast studio because I was so nervous being that close really? to him. Really? Yeah. Cool. So, I was like, I gotta, I gotta have a little just to separate, like from really intense people, so I can collect my thoughts. Yeah, he tapped back into that thing, yes. right? He had suppressed it when you he saw him. And he was friendly it. and he was yes. nice and he was smoking. He, bro, he was still friendly. He was still cool as fuck. But this was the real Mike Tyson. But you, that came was, out. but that was the guy That's because the he guy. tapped back into yep. that monster. He found it. We, because you know, you, oh, you, you gotta have the monster. You have to in order to be a world champion in any type of combat sport. You have to have that monster. Yeah. A legit monster inside of you that doesn't really live in the real world because right. in the real world he doesn't work right in the real world if you can't put that monster away at times right you don't work in in, in life you you're in trouble all you're the in time. trouble all the time yeah yeah but that same monster if you can control that motherfucker oh. then you're Mike Tyson you're Mike Tyson but then that's why like he would see him skirt the line right yeah when he's talking to the reporter that reporter that that is still one of the craziest things i've ever witnessed when he was on the stage and the reporter said something and mike started talking about if we were in jail i would do this or it, oh it, that's right oh my god i'd fuck you till you I'd love fuck me fuck you till you love me <laughs> joe how do i mean what <laughs> what oh my god but imagine that guy yeah in that state trying to operate in the world with normal people like us right doesn't work it doesn't work he's in jail right it's crazy it's crazy because the thing that made him great could also run away like a wildfire and burn everything around him. And everybody. Yeah. And and when you're the man, and he was the man, then there, there's no restraints anymore, mm -mm. which is even crazier. Because now you, you crash a Rolls Royce, you just give it to the cops. Remember that? Yeah. No matter what he did. Take my car. I don't even want No it. matter what he did, take the car. I'm yeah. fine. They hide everything. You know, honestly, here it, here, is. Here it is right there. That's it. He was like, I'm like your daddy. Let me Look hear this, Jamie. Give me some volume. Go, go from the beginning. He's like breathing heavy. Put your mother in the straight jacket, you punk ass white boy. Come here and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. I mean. You faggot. You can't touch me. You're not man enough. I eat your ass all alive, you bitch. Fuck you, you hoe. Come and tell me my face. I'll fuck you, you ass for everybody. You bitch. Come on, you bitch. You're scared, coward. You're not man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. Jeez. Uh, what do you say to someone? Matt, who is that guy? To, yeah. Who's that guy? Who's the reporter? That's what I'm saying. Like, But what did that reporter have to say to get that? Well, he said something that you should be in a straight jacket. Yeah. Wasn't this the one where Mike bit Lennox? 
it, he bit a Vander. He bit a Vander. Bit a Vander's ear. But ear. didn't somebody get bit? In that was this? at a. That, that was when he was about to fight Lennox Lewis, right. I believe. That wasn't press there conference. like a brawl. Yeah. There was a brawl. This? That Did was someone a brawl. get bit, or am I imagining that? I don't. I don't remember him getting bit. I remember him biting a Vander's ear, and he they got into a bit of a Vander's fight. Ear. That was crazy. That was crazy. When he, you were you there? No, no, I, I watched was, it on TV. Oh, I'm about to say that was crazy. That was crazy. He that bit was crazy. a chunk of his ear off. He couldn't beat him. Yeah. He couldn't beat him. Yeah. He was he was in a situation where he wasn't the man because he was so used to being the biggest, baddest mug in mm -hmm. there. And in a situation where he wasn't, he goes, I have to go primal. It's all you know. Wow. You bite a motherfucker. <laughs> he, 